Hey folks, my name is Feldre and we are back in Sevtech. So, as you can see, we are in my uh, underground cave here. Uh, I haven't uh, basically done anything because I wanted to, you guys to see uh, how what kind of progress I'm going to make. So, where did I get that stuff from? Oh yeah, that was from upstairs. Let me just put that go away. There we go. Um, yes, so, progression. So, got a whole bunch of things we're going to want to do here. Uh, first off, we want to do strainers. So, we're going to need a strainer base and a dense survivalist strainer to complete this achievement. Okay, so, strainer. Okay, so the strainer base is... Oh, okay, well. <laughs> in that case, we're going to have to go down here first. So, we're going to have to uh, do the hopper. So, wooden hopper. Let's look up. Hoppers. So, this is just a immersive chest plus, plus some, uh, some wood. So, let me... I had some extra chests right there. And we're going to need some wood. So let's go ahead and make this here. Let me just put that there for now so I can get this crafting rock. So put the wood like so. Ta-da! All right, and now it's going to ask for the uh, Whopper Mark II. Which requires bark. Uh, the original uh, wooden hopper and cobwebs, which is stick and st sticks and string, which we can definitely do that. I can't remember if I have any bark though. Uh, let me take a quick glance here. I think I, I think I uh, made it all into um, the resin or whatever it was called. I can't remember what it was called now. So I'm gonna have to make some more. Um, Let's take, yeah, we have a bunch of these, so let's, let's use this. And I'm going to need my work blade, which I think I have stored in here. Yes. So I know before I actually had, I actually put these on the ground and I used the work blade on them. You, it turns out you don't need to do that. I just, there's actually a recipe for it. I just was not paying attention. <laughs> I, uh. Uh, I just did what I remember from uh, from playing other Primal Core uh, mod packs. So I'll just I'm just gonna take a bunch. There we go. What can I can I chop this up? I think I can chop this up. Hey, anyway, we won't worry about that. So yes, and the work blade. Um, so to make that, oh yes, I'm going to need string. There's some string here. Oh, we do not have much string. Uh, oh, that's right, because I can make it from these things. Which we just get by using a work blade on. So there we go, there's a bunch of string. And I'm also going to need sticks. I should have sticks somewhere. There's some sticks. So. Uh, right, so in order to make the cut. Nope, that's not the cobweb. That, I can't click. There we go. Uh, string in the middle and sticks in the corners. So it'll go like so. Craft that up. Now we're gonna wanna put that back um, at the top. We're gonna wanna put this in the center. And then the bark, uh, like so. There we go. Super says it done. All right, now we can make the strainer base. So that is another chest, some wood, some sticks, and the hopper. Let me just go ahead and put that back in there. Uh, I have a chest. Oops. There we go. I have some sticks, right, which are up in the corners here. 
and I think I need. Let me get this. Let me get a chopping block because I haven't made one uh, since I came here. Um, that's gonna go with air. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> I guess because I use a, a stripped log. Anyways, um, I should be able to chop these up into planks. Yes. So I'll just do that. Okay, I got some planks. I'm gonna go ahead and put them like so. And now we're gonna hit with the crafting rock. There is our strainer. Now we're going to need did it say the the dents? Uh yes. So we're gonna need the dense one, which is going to require a dense net, which is gonna require some string or what's twine made out of? I guess I'm using string. Okay. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Six. There we go. Oh, oh, that gave me two. Okay. And then we want to just put sticks all around it. I might as well make two of these then. I'm going to need some more sticks. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, I don't think I have any more. I don't see any. So let me quickly chop some up. Go ahead and craft that up. There we are. Um, let's get that extra stick out of there. Cut. Tried to shift right click it out. There we go. Okay, apparently both hands have to be empty. All right, so let's go ahead and set up this base. Now, I don't know if it says anything. I think it's supposed to work better if it's in, um, if it's in flowing water, which is good because I have flowing water right. Hello, fish. Um, yeah, cause I think I have. There's flowing water right here. So if I break that block, um, yep, yep. Okay, put it there, and if I put a strainer in it, that should uh, start getting some stuff. So that's going to get uh, shark teeth, ink sacks, sand, dirt, and gravel. And there is the other strainer. This gets uh, stick, stone, clay, and looks like random uh, planks. Yeah, and then there's uh, the fisherman one, which gets uh, random fish, but it, it doesn't break. Like, like these only have a certain amount of uses, but it does require bait. So, with that in mind, let me head back down here. Instead of using this shovel all the time, I'm going to stick it on my wall there. There is a garden trowel. Now, why use this instead of the uh, instead of that shovel? Well, this one, uh, when you're digging dirt, has a chance to drop bait, which is used for the water strainer, uh, the fishing one. So um, it is just dirt, flint, and a stick. Um, dirt, stick. And I just need flint. There we go. What order was it? Okay, yeah. So like that. That. Oops, nope. And that. There we go. And this can be uh, repaired with flint. Really, I should have made this earlier. I just, I, I forgot about it. <laughs> and I made the stone one instead. But yeah, I would say, like, as soon as you can make this. Just because of the fact that you will get the bait. Uh, so. Put the crafting rock back. Uh, actually, what else do we... Do we want to make here? What, I mean, there's there's many things I want to make. So I really want to make a teepee. Because my 
poor um, sleeping mat is becoming a little damaged. <laughs> so I'd rather uh, I'd rather have an actual whoops, that was the one I meant to press. I'd rather have an actual um, bed. So we're going to need five leather and four sticks. I need to make more sticks again. Do I have enough leather? Do I only have one leather? Okay, apparently I only have one leather. So I'm gonna have to uh, make some more. And I will be back uh, once that happens. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Are you them apples, Mr. Creeper? Huh? Yeah, yeah, you got sheared. You can't do anything. Ha ha ha! Ah, it's the little things that amuse me. <laughs> All right, it took a little bit, but I finally have some leather, so now we can make our TP. So we're gonna need uh, five leather like that, and then the rest to be sticks. So let's place those in there. And then we'll put the sticks. Get our crafting rock. Woo! One TP! Finally! Alright. Uh, I think I will put it... You know what? I'm just gonna stick it right here for now. I think I can put it... How big of a space does this thing need? It might actually... <laughs> might actually need quite a bit of space. Cause it's not... I'm right clicking and it's not doing anything. Um... Let me try kind of making a little bit more space here, see if that helps. Does that, does that help any? Maybe it's not meant to be inside? Let me, let me try placing it uh, outside. Oh, actually, let's not put it out there. Let's put it up by the farm. Or where the farm's going to be, I should say. There's no actual farm yet. Uh, get rid of you. There we go. And then we'll put you there. Where? Where can I? How big of a space does this thing need? No, still, still no, still no, not enough room. That's a bear. That is a bear. And I have no. Why do I not have a shield? Okay, we're gonna kill him, the bear. Oh, the bear hurts! It seems to be confused! <laughs> Kirkwall's confused! One more hit! Gotcha! I'll drop some meat? That was it? Well, that's... kinda sucks. <laughs> okay. We still... we still gotta find a place to put this dang thing. I wish I knew how much room it needed. It's not it's not very obvious. Okay, let's try cutting down this tree maybe. Okay. Can I put the teepee down now? There we go, Jesus. Alright. Let me just sleep in it. So how big of a space does this need? It looks like it only needs a three by three. So maybe I guess I can't put it. Inside, maybe? Huh. Alright, so that's done. So, now... Oh, I should probably eat something. Um, how is my food here? I, need, I do need a little bit more fruit, so I'll eat this. There we go. Now I'll eat one of these. These steak dinners, by the way, really nice. Um, because they have protein and vegetables. So, yeah. These are... These are pretty high. Uh, there's a dire wolf in my base. How did you get in my base? Well, unfortunately, you're gonna have to die now. That's a rotten flesh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, makes about as much sense as anything else. <laughs> so, next thing to do. What do we got? We got the teepee. All right. 
Uh, we're going to need to make a lead. Okay. What do we need for a lead? Yeah, because we're going to want to get into the horsepower stuff. Because that stuff is awesome. So we're going to need string and some leather cordage, which requires some leather strips, I think. I have leather strips. That, that, that's rocks. Leather strips and string. I only have eight string. Um, I had some. I had some more wool that I can take apart. Where are you? Uh, there's that color and that color. Might as well use them with my work blade here. I think that should get me string. Just regular string. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just take these apart. Cause I'm probably gonna need more string than uh, than fleece. So, right. Uh, first we're going to need to make the leather cord. I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and make two of these. Might as well, I have the, I have the leather strips for them. There we go, and one, two. Get that out of the way so I can get my crafting rock. Um. And then we're going to need two of those in each of those corners. Two of those. Two leads. All right. Can I make fences? No, can't make fences yet. All right. That is fair enough. So, next thing on the list. Uh, ooh, saddle be nice. What what does what does it take to make a saddle? That is some more leather cordage plus some leather to make a saddle. Okay, I'd have to find a horse to ride, but I could do that, and then it would be so much easier to travel around. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna need leather. Oh, how do you make? Let me see here. Leather strips is right. Yeah, it's the um, work blade. So I'm just gonna take out my work blade again, and we'll put that in there. I still have the string. Where's those leather? There they are. I'm just gonna make one saddle for now. I think. Yeah. One piece of leather will give me just enough of the strips. So, uh, right, so three there, three there, two there, two, three. Get my crafting rock. Gotta love this, this workbench. Okay, so we're gonna need that. Down, how was it? Down to the bottom. Two, three. And right, the three leather above it. Ooh, one saddle. All right. Excellent. That is one thing done. All right, and then there's the horse cart. That's going to be fun. Okay, but I think more importantly right now is I need the horsepower. Among horses, you can use parrots, buffalo, pigs, cows, llamas, and wolves to work. Huh. Interesting. Uh, do, did I? No, I didn't make that. Did I before? Craft a uh, horsepowered grindstone. Okay. So... Look up horsepower. So I'm gonna need six stone. Oh, I need to use up those two leads. Well, <laughs> good thing I made them. Didn't even know I did. Uh, yeah, that was not planned at all. I'm gonna need some sticks. Uh, sticks. Where did you go? I know this place is kind of a mess. I'm actually going to like this because I can see everything at a glance. Um, 
right in the stone. I should have some stone somewhere here. Uh, if not, I'll just have to cook some up. Uh, I see lots of cobble. There's some stone. Uh, I, have, I have one stone. Okay. Right. Uh, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I have a bunch of cobble to make. Or a bunch of stone, I say. So we'll get that sorted. Alright, we now have a bunch of stone. So, let's go ahead and craft this up. So the six stone on the bottom, then we're going to want our two precious leads in the corner and then a stick right there. Take a crafting rock. Ta-da! Horsepower! Now I'm going to need to find a place to set these up. So I'm going to... I'm going to do it outside. You know what? I can make I can make walls, can't I? Because I'd like to have an area where the um yeah the horses can't or or whatever can't get out. So let me make some walls because I have a bunch of cobblestone anyways. Um, and I will set up a little area for them to uh to work in. Okay, one thing uh, I want to point out that, uh, um, so one of the people on the server, Mountain Papa, linked to this, uh, this document that kind of gives you lots of tips about, uh, about SevTech. And one of the things that I think is really important and really should be said sometime sooner is that, okay, so this rock here, if I just click on a little bit, you see it doesn't break right away. And it also makes like the, was it the dirt sound I think it is? So that means you should not break this rock because it is a, an ore kind of clump um, that is, that is disguised as one of these rocks. So don't break that if you see it. If it's more like, let me try this one over here. Yeah, if it breaks in one hit and it sounds like a stone when you break it, that one's okay. Break those. Those those are fine. Don't, yeah, don't break those because you want to be able to, you use those to find ore later on. So, just something to keep in mind. Oh, hello. Hello. What, what, what are you called? Something. Said your name, Gilded Gollum. Ow, ow. Ow. There, gotcha. Did you? Do you think you drop anything? No. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so I set up kind of a little area here. So my plan is, I think this should work if I take my work blade. Is it shift? There we go. I think I can just, yeah, jump up like that and then do the same thing on the other side. Oh, can you only do it on one side? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm just gonna use some stone, I guess. There we go. <laughs> so it looks a little odd, but I think that should that should work for like keeping keeping things out and keeping things in. Yeah. Okay. So I have this thing placed. It needs to be in a seven by seven area. So that's what I did, and then I I'm actually gonna take this out. Because I made uh, two hoppers and two chests. So if we put a chest here, connect the wooden hopper to it, make a chest here, or no, change my mind. Give me that back. If I actually I can put it here going in like that. You can actually like it's only like uh um it, like this this kind of radius around it, th this block radius around it, you can actually still put stuff in there. Uh so now I'm gonna need to see if I can there. So now I put stuff in here. 
it'll go through the hoppers, uh, be ground up into there, and then put into the bottom chest. That should work. It, like if it, if you, let me put something, just kind of show you what it looks like. If I put this there, oh, it doesn't actually say it. Usually it says, oh yeah, there we go. Not a valid area. Hold a lead. Oh, I actually made some extra leads. Ah. Yeah, but if I remove this, it's going to be fine again. See? No errors. And I read that if you put a path around it, that should make whatever you have hooked up, like the horse or whatever, move faster. So I'm just going to put down that path there. Now, I need to find something to hook up to this. Uh, I think there's a few ideas around here. Let me go, let me go find one. Here we go. Here's some uh, horses, actually, that, um, that are in the area. So I'm not sure, like, I don't know which ones are the fastest. Uh, so I'm just going to pick your random horse. Actually, let me... You know what I can do? I have the saddle. Let's tame you. Yay, I got a tame horse. All right. Let's put that on you. Now I can ride you around. And I'm going to leash one of your friends here. I'll go with that one, sure. All right. Let's head... This one, I think he seems pretty speedy. That, did that leash break already? <sighs> yes, it did. Okay. You're, you're going to be a problem, horse, aren't you? Come on. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Stop. No, I don't want to hit the horse. <laughs> ah, that was, that was not, not the best, I, I must admit. No, why? Hold on. Go, go away. Leave me alone. Whew, okay. Broke my pants. Dang it. <sighs> okay. Let's... Ah, uh, my other horse went over there. Yeah, you're a little bit hurt, but there's not much I can do about that. Okay, so, we're back. It was there was a little bit of a harrowing journey. Uh we're gonna need to get the horse in here. So come here. And we're gonna hook you up there. There we go. Uh where is that cobblestone wall? Put that back. There we are. Okay, now if I put say a piece of wheat in there. There we go. He's grinding it up. And it should turn into flour once he's done running around. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let me go get my other horse here. I can't like leash this horse to like a wall, can I? Not a thing. No, I don't think it's a thing. Well, poop. I'm not sure. Actually, you know what I can do instead? Just to make sure you stay safe. Yeah, you want to jump in there? There we go. You can stand there. That should work out fine. There we go. So now I can actually go and uh, and get the horse processing some more uh, some more wheat for me because I really need that. I also need to make some more uh, torches while I'm down there. Lay this area a little bit. So I wanted to make just one more thing before I uh, I call this an episode. Uh, I wanted to I want to make this uh, chopper. So, in order to do that, there's two different recipes. 
I actually have an extra chopping block. Um, you know what? Let's use the wonky looking one. <laughs> we can keep uh, the other one over there. So that's going to go down here. Now we're going to need um, some wood, uh, two leads, stick, and some flint. So we have flint right in the center. I uh, use up my two leads that I made. <laughs> uh, so we need some wood and a stick. So stick goes there. Throw that back. So throw these back too. Uh, there's some wood right there. Perfect. Take the crafting rock. One chopping block. So this works um, basically the same way as the as the grinder. So I'm going to have to set up an area upstairs. And uh, then we can get the horses chopping down, chopping up logs for us. And I'm also going to need to make more leads because I ran out. Because <laughs> I used them all. So that's something that I will uh, have to work on off camera. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone.